Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Let's talk about setting up vCenter and then one of the first steps you take when setting up vCenter. I'm setting up a new lab environment at home and I've just installed vCenter 8 and I have several steps I take when starting to configure and setting up that vCenter for my lab environment. Now, I'm going to walk you through this with several videos on the steps I take. One of the first steps I take, I do, is set up a central NTP configuration. So I have a NTP server running in my network, which is being distributed using DHCP for all components in my network, in my local networks and the different VLANs I have. And then vCenter and of course my ASXi host is picking that up. But I want to do, want to make sure that vCenter and the host they are actually always using that NTP server, which is set up centrally. So what I've done is I have NTP server running on my PFSense firewall. PFSense firewall is taking care of all my VLANs and one of the VLANs, that's where my lab environment is living in. And that VLAN is giving out that same NTP server, the PFSense NTP server to all the devices in that network. And in order to make sure that my vCenter and my ESXi host, which will be running the fundamentals of my home lab, is actually using that NTP server. I can trust the HTTP, of course, that's fine. But I want to make sure that that NTP configuration is always there in that setup, in the VMware appliance, in the vCenter appliance, and also in my ESXi host. No mistakes there, because we all know NTP is a basic service which should be very reliable in order to make everything work perfectly in your network. VMware vCenter is, for example, always relying heavily on NTP to be in sync with a host and making sure that everything works, authentication and setting up different services in your network. So now I'm going to show you how to set up that NTP configuration in the VMware management appliance how to set up that NTP information in the ESXi host for vSphere 8. And then I will also show you how I have set up specific rules in my PFSense firewall to redirect all NTP calls to my PFSense firewall. And in that way, I can make sure that every NTP call in my network is being replied to from my PFSense appliance. And then every device in my network has the same time information. This is very important. Let's get into it. The first step to set up NTP in your network is making sure that you have a central, centrally managed, central setup NTP server. In my case, it's my PFSense firewall. I've set up enabled service and NTP, as you can see here. Go to services and go to NTP and enable the NTP server. This will enable the NTP server on PFSense. Of course, PFSense in uh, its own uh, case will sync synchronize its time with time service you set up for it. I'm using a uh, NTP pool from PFSense and it's synchronizing itself with the pool I've configured here, as you can see on the screen. That's one of the important things. And the, the other important thing is you have to select the interfaces on which PFSense will listen for NTP requests. So I have selected my LAN and my DMZ uh, here. DMZ, uh, also my guest uh, VLAN and my test lab. So that means my test lab, that's the VLAN I'm using for my home lab environment. So that means if there is a NTP request in one of those networks coming to PFSense, the NTP server on PFSense will listen to it and will reply to it with the correct time and date configuration. So this is one of the first things you have to set up. The next thing is to open up the ports, of course, in your PFSense firewall. So if you go to firewall and click on rules, select the VLAN or the network you have configured there. In my case, I am selecting the test lab as an example. And you can see here already that I have configured the NTP allow rule for this test lab network. It's also serving the NTP package. You can see that the counter is going up there. It has states created or it has bytes, which is being communicated there. So that's the way you know that this is working fine. So this is one important um, rule to have enabled, of course, because otherwise the firewall PFSense will block all communications. Enable this. Now, the second rule you're seeing here is a net redirect rule for NTP. So what I've done basically is I've created a net rule 
in my network and what is it, it does is pfSense is looking for NTP requests in my network and I want all NTP requests be redirected to my pfSense firewall so that's in that way I can make sure that every device has the same NTP and the same date information because there are several devices like IoT devices etc which are reaching out to the internet to Google time services, etc. I don't want that. I want every time NTP request to be handled by PFSense. So I've created a redirect rule for NTP requests to my PFSense firewall. Once this has been set up, you're basically done for setting it up on the central side. Your firewall is serving NTP requests. Everything is being redirected to that one time source in your whole network. Now then the second part is set it up in the VMware management appliance. Let's go there. So the next step is setting it up in the vCenter server management interface in the management appliance, basically. So you make sure that you log into your vCenter management interface, which is ending with port number 5480. When you're logged in, you will see that there is a time option in the left menu. This is the place where you set up the NTP configuration for vCenter. Now, because we've set up that NTP redirect rule in PFSense. If I don't do this, still every NTP uh, request in my network will be redirected to my PFSense firewall. But just to make sure, I'm setting it up in my VMware vCenter appliance as well. Set up the time zone. You can just do that by clicking on the edit option here. I'm in uh, using the Amsterdam time zone. And then as you can see here, if you click on edit, you have the option to choose for NTP. This is the option I'm choosing. I'm not using the host because if I use the host, vCenter will basically try to communicate with the host it's running on and get the time information can be an option as well. But I'm using the NTP option because I want to make sure that it is actually using my PFSense as a source for time and day keeping. So enter the IP address of your PFSense here or your central time server service and when you click on OK, you will see that it has set up and synchronized immediately the time with that time source in your network. Once you've set this up, the second step is to make sure that all your ESXi hosts have the same NTP uh, source information as well. Now, of course, if you're setting up a lot of ESXi hosts, you have a central provisioning system, profile system, which enables or provisions all your hosts with the same configuration. Now, in that configuration, you can configure, of course, NTP settings, and those NTP settings will then be propagated to every host, of course. Again, because I've set up central NTP distribution within my network, I'm redirecting all NTP requests to my firewall, right? That means that I can be sure that every host in my network will have the same NTP information or will use that same NTP source, regardless what is set up here. But if you want to set it up on the ESXi host as well, I will do that because I want to make sure that the information is there as well. Log into the ESXi host, click on the manage option and in the systems tab, you will have a time and date option here. If you click on edit NTP settings there, you can enable the NTP servers here. So enter that same NTP server source which you will using in your VMware vCenter appliance. In my case, that's the PFSense firewall. And I'm selecting the start and stop with host option here. And that way I can make sure that an NTP client on the ESXi host actually starts whenever I boot up my ESXi host because it's a lab environment. It's not always running. It's only running when I need it to do some troubleshooting or I needed to test some stuff. In this way, I can make sure that an NTP client will start whenever I boot up my ESXi host. So this is the place for setting it up on your ESXi host. After you've set it up here, let's just make sure that it is uh, actually visible within vCenter itself and that host. This is my vCenter running only for this host because this is basically the only host I have which I will be using for my lab environment. So click on the host. Let's click on configure. Let's go and find the time configuration options within the system section here. And as you will see that that time configuration you have set up on that ESXi host is also visible now from the vCenter 
uh, interface from the management perspective. And that's the way to make sure that NTP and date configuration information is always on the same in all devices in your network. I've entered it in my PFSense firewall, distributing it using DHCP to all devices. My vCenter has the same information and all my ESXi hosts will be having the same information there as well. If there is some device in my network which is using a rogue NTP server, using that NTP redirect rule I created in PFSense, I will catch that, redirect it to PFSense, and again, make sure that that device is still using the NTP server source I want to have running in my network. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe option below in the video. And if you have a comment, leave it in the comment section. I will do my best to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you, take care, and see you next time. Bye.